Hello, Mike of Neil Enough Dice here, and this is the Couple Space Program. Um, in my new, even more new, uh, career mode, well it's not in career mode, science mode, which I keep telling myself I'm not actually doing a new game of Kerbal Space Dragon, but, and yet here we are. Uh, let's turn off the gimbal, I don't think the gimbal's actually helping us at this point. Uh, I have started up a new science game, which I've put myself as close as I can to about where I was in my career game, because I can't be bothered with money. I just don't, I just want to do science. If I'm going to play this at all, I'm just going to do the science thing. I'm not going to care about money. Um, so I've got myself into to orbit at long last with a really weird orbit. The, the ship went just whoosh up really, really fast, really, really quickly, such that uh, I was I almost went straight up to about 80 kilometers and then that way, which is not the efficient way of doing it. Uh, but I had enough Delta V, so that was fine. Uh, it was just really weird that that happened like that. Uh, so now we want to land. I've done a bit of science. Um, I could do more, but I'm not going to. So the question is, in here I have a heat shield. Do I have enough of a heat shield to stop the, well, everything exploding, which is what happened last time? So I'm just going to blow all my remaining fuel. Then I'm going to dump that. So now we have a heat shield, so that's going away. Goodbye. Thanks very much. Uh, that should fall back to to Kerbin. Yeah, there, there there will be no way I've given that so much of a kick that it'll it'll go anywhere except back down again. So possibly I should have pointed downwards before kicking out. And uh, now, so let's just fast forward until we start to hit atmosphere. Now uh, we are pointed retrograde, so I've got the SES pointing me retrograde. How much have I got? For, uh, I n now I'm checking my my um, electricity state, which is very clever of me. Uh, but to be perfectly honest, that should be okay. That should exactly be what what you do because. Um, Because the, the 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 rocket engines have alternators in them, so they are quite happily um, pumping out, you know, giving me me new electricity to play with. Uh, that's still up there. Now I've set that as a target for no good reason. Not really helping anybody. All right, things are beginning to heat up. So let's bring up our thermal panel. Now I'm hoping the fact that I bled off a lot of my speed before will help things. And I'm also hoping, I'm just going to bring up my panel here. I'm hoping that I've got enough ablator to cope with everything. Hottest part is my heat shield, which is what it should be. The question is whether or not that's that could still be taking more heat than I want it to. But Looks like we'll be landing in the water today. Things are a lot smoother. Now I've, I've taken away the... Um, a lot of the, the visual enhancements. So I think are a lot smoother. I think I think it's still fairly, it might be a slightly jerky video, but uh, I think that was the back end encountering the atmosphere in a in a un unfortunate or unhappy way. Okay, so we've come through the thermal thing and we're not exploded, which is an improvement over last time. 
So last time I came through and I didn't have a heat shield and the science junior exploded. Uh, which was slightly unfortunate. But the back end of it is still all the way over there still. So it hasn't completely uh, been destroyed. Uh, right, so... Now, the, there is a question. I'm going to turn off my SS at this point. There is a question of how much the heat shield is weighing and thus um, how fast I will be hitting the surface. So I do have the option to jettison the heat shield if I feel that I'm still going too fast. Uh, so that's the parachute taking hold. Right. Oh, that's my target. Oh, my lord. That was terrifying. Right, so I'm going 6.5, uh, 6.6. 6. So I'm going to jettison the heat shield. And see what that does. So that does have, that does make for a bit of a change in my uh, velocity. That takes at least half a meter a second, or about half a meter off my uh, downwards velocity, which is quite good. I thought my speed was like, oh no! Oh no, I'm still going really fast! I don't understand, why am I going hundreds of miles an hour still? And it's because it's on target mode. I can't, I'm not on target mode anymore, I presume my target has in fact died. Uh, so that was really slightly frightening, I was going at hundreds of miles an hour still. It's like, oh no, no, that's because I'm on target mode, my target's going whoosh. So, uh, we are going to land, I think even the Fragile Science Junior, which I managed to explode uh, twice. Once by, by, um, there we go. Once by heat and then by making a little roller kind of, essentially I was trying to make a rover by sticking another cabin on the end, another um, crew module on the end of this and just kind of rolling it around. That exploded really easily as well. So that was slightly annoying. So I've managed to get it back home. Hurrah. That's clever of me. I'm, I'm quite pleased. I'm just going to briefly head into the cabin. Because I saw a display for this thing. Uh... Which I cannot seem to find. Yeah, I think this was the one. Oh look, that's the flight log. Oh, cool. Right, well, that's it. We could we could click a few. A few of these things could do several things at once. Oh, okay. Not quite sure what that's doing. Probably telling me my orbit. That's not doing anything. It is going beep. So the uh, the implication is it's doing something. But somewhere. I saw um, in a crew, there was a crew thing where you could actually see uh, information about the crew, uh, actual biological data. So here I could actually type in some KOS if I'd had a KOS module attached. Target management. So I can do things with targets apparently. Well, I can't find it. If you if you was here any somewhere then I'd I've not seen it. Which is a pity because uh, I'm gonna have to find out how where, if, if that was a, a graph that you could I could get easily. Because I think that was you actually could see the heartbeats of your, your crew. But I don't seem to have that, but we're back, so let's, let's just recover. So on my slightly cheaty new um, science game, let's see how much science I got. Ah, 63 science. Uh, 25 of that was space, uh, was uh, material study by space. 
and the mystery goo I'm kind of hoping that we ended up with pretty much as much as you can get out of that so here we got plus 10 signs which uh, technically I shouldn't have because I, that, sh that should be uh, incorporated into my previous game from my previous game and some of these EVA reports as well so probably only the 25 science 35 uh, maybe 40 science is really all I can get yeah I really actually claim from this one but you know got to work these things out but anyway so that's okay so I managed to get back down for once which is nice and not explode um, external radial mount camera hmm. radiator panels uh, new antenna first probe I always find it fascinating you can you can send people into space before you can send your first probe and then batteries now I don't know how far it takes before you can get your first solar panel a ghetto blaster what on earth mod gives me a ghetto blaster so that's our first so it's going to be another whole thing before I get to electric A lot of aerodynamic stuff, including jet engines, which I don't really need. Although, once if I get aerodynamics, I can build a science rover and just get all the stupid science from around the uh, uh, around the Kerbal Space Center. That's what I'm trying to say. I had the Kerbal attachment system, the Kerbal engineer system, in here. Although, yeah, so I'll, I'll be getting those bits as I come along. So I might get aerodynamics just to, to gather all that science and make a science rover because this is pretty much what you need. You end up with like a jet engine and a couple and the gear. <clears throat> and then you're cheerfully wandering around um, making stuff. Uh, grabbing science from everywhere. I could go into advanced flight, flight call, get myself some RCS. Ah, get mech jab. Ooh. Land cam. RCS ports. What else we got? And landing stuff. So, landing gear. And the good landing struts. Big heat shield, probably. Launch escape system, which I have never used. Right, so there you go. That's what I've been up to thus far. Uh, so thanks for much watching. Uh, do hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed these videos. Come visit me at thealfdice.com. We're also available on Facebook and Twitter. And until we meet again, reach for the stars.